Adding views to layout can be done in, there's a little thing I put here, never send the floor plan to the layout more than once. And if those of you that have I've showed this to and you've done, you see how this works, you go, oh, that saves a ton of time. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. So let's go back to my plan that I have over here. So here's this plan that I've got now. I've got foundation, first floor, and then we go over to framing. Okay, first, second, third floor. So I've only sent the floor plan to this layout once. So what I would do, let me just pop up to a bunch of pages here. All right, so what I'm going to do is go into that plan, and then I'm going to send any view to the layout. So I'll send the first floor of the layout. So I'm going to hit the Send to Layout icon right here. Okay, and that's going to send that view to the layout page. Uh, you set your scale for whatever you want it to be. And then when we get to the layout, all right, so just get what you want to see on the layout. Get it adjusted to where you want it to be on the layout. Now, again, depending on, you know, you might want to put more of these on one page or not. But this particular project, it fits the page pretty well, and I couldn't do two of them on there at a quarter inch scale. So what I'm going to do is hit my copy button, and then I'm going to go to the next page and hit paste and hold position. And I'll go to the next page, and I'll hit paste and hold position. And I'll go to the next page, and I'll hit paste and hold position. Okay, so I'm going to do that for every kind of different view that I want to have. In this particular plan, I only have the floor plan, and I have a framing plan. I haven't done any kind of electrical or you know anything like that yet. So on this page here, it's supposed to be the foundation. So what I need to do is open the dialog for that item, and then I need to go to the uh, plan view. So you'll see this plan view thing right here. And you want to look for this these things right here. So what you can do is set the current floor, and then you can set what's showing up. Which annotation set are you using? So I'm going to go to first. I'm going to make this my foundation, and I want it to be the standard quarter inch that I have selected. So there's my foundation plan. Now I'm going to go to the next page. That's good. I want my first floor there. I'm going to go to my next page, and I'm going to click here, open the dialog, go to plan view, and select the second floor. Click OK. All right, so there's that. Now I want to start showing my framing. So I'm going to go to the next page, click on the view, open its dialog. This one needs to be the foundation, and it needs to be the framing plan. Then I click OK. And there's the framing plan, all coming from the same plan. All right, I go to the next page. Let's paste and hold again. Should still be in memory there. And this should be my first floor framing plan. Plan view, first floor framing. So you can use your annotation sets to change the what shows up in the views. Then I could paste one more time, open its dialog and then go to plan view and I want this to be my second floor framing plan. So it doesn't matter how many different views and again everything comes from the same plan and you can just change the different views here. Now, how much time did I just save there not having to go back the floor plan and send it to the sheet go to the floor plan send it to the sheet and plus they're all lined up perfectly now so as I scroll through my plan after even after I print the PDF, they'll always stay perfectly lined up. It saves a ton of time and it, it really makes for a good looking clean plan when you do it like this.